In this video, I'm going to talk about Honda's VCM system and a quick review on my 2025 Honda Pilot. I'm going to start over from the beginning. What is VCM? VCM stands for Variable Cylinder Management and is Honda's way of shutting down a six-cylinder engine down to four-cylinder and then three-cylinder to save fuel. I made a few videos in the past about the VCM system. If you have not seen them, please search my video list for them. In those videos, I also review my experience with the VCM Muzzler 2. Now, VCM Muzzler 2 is a device that prevents the engine from shutting down to four-cylinder mode and three-cylinder mode. So it keeps the engine operating at six cylinder mode all the time. Now, what's the issue with the VCM system? VCM system seems to cause a lot of issues for the J35 V6, which is Honda's corporate V6 engine that's used across many different models, such as the Pilot, the Odyssey, Ridgeline, uh, Passport, on the Honda Accord in the past, and also Acura MDX, and, um, and maybe some other products I can't remember at this time. Some of the issues experienced with the VCM uh, problems uh, is the oil consumption, and engine mount issues, vibration, uh, piston rings, uh, foul spark plugs, and a whole bunch of uh, other issues that cause you to have a check engine light. Now the VCM issue affected a lot of Hondas where there was a class action lawsuit. And in the settlement, Honda had to extend the warranty for these vehicles and pay for the repair costs. On my two prior vehicles, it was covered under the class action lawsuit. And my last Honda, 2014 Honda Odyssey, I installed the VCM muzzler and the engine was perfect from day one till the day I traded it in for this 2025 Pilot. Although I traded in my 2014 Honda Odyssey with the VCM muzzler 2 on, some of you have been following my journey and my reviews for many years. So therefore, I kind of feel I owe it to you to continue this journey, even though it's on a different vehicle. I still get a lot of questions in the comments section asking about the VCM and the VCM muzzler. Now in my replies and in my videos, I mentioned that the engine shuts down from six cylinder to four cylinder and then to three cylinders. And then sometimes I would say from six cylinders to three cylinders. So what's the difference here? The reason for that is there's actually four different VCM systems from Honda. And I'm going to talk about them. VCM version one was the first version of Honda's VCM system. It was introduced around 2006 and until 2008. It depending on Honda models because they were introduced at different times, but that's sort of the general period when the first version was used. Now, on a V6 engine, VCM version 1 was shut off half of the bank of the V6 engine. So it was shut off three cylinders. So basically, it goes from V6 to three cylinder mode only. VCM version 2 was introduced around 2009 till 2015 and Honda made some changes to it. Remember VCM 1 goes from 6 cylinder to 3 cylinders? VCM version 2 goes from 6 cylinders to 4 cylinders and to 3 cylinders. In 3 cylinder mode, half of the V6 engine is deactivated. Now in four cylinder mode, both sides are activated, but one cylinder on each side is deactivated. So basically it's kind of like a V4 engine. So it's a lot more complicated 
than the VCM version 1. Both VCM version 1 and 2 were the most troublesome for Honda, and that led to the class action lawsuit and settlement. Now, for the first version, maybe there's a little bit of learning curve for Honda. But the second version was clearly more complicated. VCM version 3 was introduced around 2016 till 2022. Now, VCM 3 goes back to the old formula of shutting down just one bank of the V6 engine. So it only goes from six cylinders to three cylinder mode. What Honda also did with the VCM version three was that they reprogrammed the transmission. Now in the earlier versions of the VCM, whenever the engine engages in VCM mode, there will be kind of a rough feeling like a transmission shift, like, a, like where the engine would jerk a little bit. So what Honda did was to program the torque converter in the automatic transmission to slip just a bit to help smooth out this process when the engine engages in VCM mode. Now this slip caused the transmission fluid to overheat. And this would also cause the transmission fluid to wear out faster, and some owners have reported transmission issues with the VCM version 3. This leads to VCM version number 4. It was introduced in 2023 on the new pilot. Honda also revised the J35 V6, and it's noted specifically as J35Y8 engine. Now VCM version 4 kept the same formula of shutting down from 6 cylinders to 3 cylinders only. Before I continue with the VCM version 4, I want to go back and talk a little bit about the VCM Muzzler 2, which was a device I used in my 2014 Honda Odyssey where it prevents the engine from shutting down from six cylinder mode to four cylinders and to three cylinders. Now VCM muzzler works by fooling the engine computer, thinking that it's not completely warmed up by a few degrees. So because the engine is not warmed up, the engine will not engage in VCM mode. So basically in the old VCM systems, there's one variable, engine coolant temperature, one sensor. In the new J35Y8 VCM version 4, there are 10 different sensors, 10 different parameters that constantly measures and communicate with each other to activate and deactivate the VCM. So it's a lot more complicated. So all of the old VCM muzzle devices, VCM muzzler 2, VCM tuner, and other devices will not work on the new J35Y8 engine. VCM version 4 that is on the Honda Pilot currently in 2026. It will also be on the Honda Passport and eventually it will trickle down to all the other Honda V6 products such as the Honda Ridgeline, Honda Odyssey, and the Acura MDX. Currently there are no products or devices to prevent the engine from going into VCM mode. So we'll just have to wait and see if anyone develops a device that would work. As mentioned, there are now 10 parameters to engage and disengage the VCM system. So it's a lot more complicated than just one in the previous version 
of the J35 V6. As an owner of this 2025 Honda Pilot, I now have skin in this game. I want to know if this VCM system will be an issue or if Honda finally got it right. So I'm going to continue to research and find out what I can about any new development that comes up about devices to control the VCM or issues that comes up with the VCM. As soon as I find out, I'll be sure to let you know and keep all of you posted. Now a quick review of my 2025 Honda Pilot Black Edition. There are plenty of good review videos out there on the Honda Pilot. So I'm just going to cover a few issues that I noticed within the last four months of ownership. If you're considering a Honda Pilot, these may be things you want to know. First item, poor gas mileage. We recently took a road trip of about 900 miles, nearly all highway, and we averaged 23 miles per gallon. Yeah, that's kind of low. We expected just a little bit more, but 23 was not what I thought it would be. Now, granted, the vehicle is still new. Uh, there's about 2,000 miles on the odometer, so maybe, maybe we need more time for the engine to loosen up. Now, this includes VCM, and uh, most of the trip was on economy mode. Granted, this is the black edition, which includes all-wheel drive and 20-inch wheels, but it was still a little bit lower than what we expected. The second item is the low first gear. To me, the first gear in the transmission is a little bit too low, so when it shifts from first to second, it's kind of rough. However, if you put the car in economy mode, it seems to smooth things out a little bit in terms of the transmission shift between first and second. The third item is the steering. In parking situations, the steering feels a little too light, like you can steer with one finger. But the good thing is, once the speed picks up in other driving situations, it does tighten up a bit and feels a little bit more normal. Other than that, the Pilot is everything you would expect from a Honda. It's everything you would expect from a Pilot. Would I recommend it? Yes, I do. And that is it. I will continue to keep an eye on any new developments, whether a new device has been created to control the VCM, or if there's any VCM issues with this version of the VCM, VCM version 4. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.